Okay, so uh, it, it was not so long ago, I understand, that you gave a little presentation over at USF. When was that? And, and maybe you can tell me a little bit about how that came to be and, and uh, how you ended up uh, doing it. I don't even remember the exact date. It was about a month ago. And I was doing some online research on uh, applications for mercuric iodide, which is a solid state material that we use for radiation detection, and we manufacture a constellation. And in doing that research, I came upon a, a graduate thesis by a student at the University of South Florida. And I, I knew Const people at Constellation had worked with uh, USF before. I haven't personally, but, but there is some history there. So I, I visited their website, their, the physics department website, and saw that there were a lot of interesting seminars there. And since my back, I mean, I still um, like to think of myself as, you know, the theoretical type physicist, which I'm not, but I, I still am interested in things that are going on. And I'm most interested in the things that have the fewest applications, the most esoteric, like searches for dark matter and things like that. And they have talks about those topics at, at USF. So I went to the website and they had a mailing email list that I could sign up to get regular emails about upcoming seminars. So I added my name to that and as part of adding my name I had to give my where I work and, and some other information and I guess they caught on to that and they contacted me within a few days after, after visiting their website and they invited me to give a seminar there. And, and the seminar, the, the nature of the seminar turned out to be what? It was, basically I was given the, my general topic was what did you do with your thesis? What did you do with your PhD? So they were interested, it was a seminar aimed at first year graduate students and advanced undergraduates. People who were, you know, probably going to follow a career in physics but weren't really at a point where they knew what they were going to do with their career. And a lot of, me included, most physics students, they find a professor and, and they kind of see themselves, you know, that's all they know is the professor, the professors around them, other graduate students, and they see themselves working for a university, working in an academic environment. And especially nowadays, that a very small minority of people with backgrounds in physics follow that path. So somewhere in their life, they have to change their thinking and probably go into industry or business. And, um, and that's what happened to me, so I was a, kind of a good candidate to give a talk on that. So I, I just gave a very general biographical talk of my life through graduate school and, and since. And, and, what I've done. And, and what did you call this presentation? Oh, you got me there. It's something about... Uh, I don't remember the exact title, but about my life in physics and things my my wi wife would rather not hear about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I added that to add a little spice to the uh -huh. title and to prove that uh, physicists have a sense of humor somewhere. Somewhere deep down, yeah. it doesn't always come out, and and when it does come out, people don't always recognize it either. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for this. This is great. Thank you very I much. Enjoyed it. Thanks. Yeah.